yesterday you could see the mountains over there but it's a little bit hazy today and this is the balcony on at the place where I'm staying in Maysot. Maysot's uh, a border town with Myanmar in northwestern Thailand and we're just about to go out now I'm gonna go down to the border and there's a little bridge that goes across the river that runs parallel to the border and then there's a couple of, a couple of, a couple of other little places we're going to go and check out. Should be quite an interesting little adventure. So join me on the border with Burma and Thailand. So I'm just having some breakfast before I get on the road. I've just come in this little place across the street from where I'm staying and I got some rice, got rice, vegetables, some tofu cut up and she's made like a peanut, peanut, soya, spicy sauce there's a bit of coriander in there so gonna eat this up and get some energy before i do some walking it's quite a tasty little breakfast that and it turned out that that was a vegetarian restaurant everything in there is vegetarian food and it came to 40 baht which is not too bad and we're on the road now we're going up to the highway and we want to hang a left and get down to the border so should be fun so i've just jumped in the back of this song for i don't know how far he goes he might just go up to the bus station i don't know if he goes beyond that but saves a bit of walking so we've just passed a few administration offices because this is the main entry point for the, the Burmese immigrants or migrants into Thailand probably about 10% of the population here is made up of Burmese migrants and the town, the town is also a notable trading hub between uh, Myanmar and Thailand and it's also gained notoriety over its illicit trade of teak, human trafficking and illicit drugs and there's a load of bicycles there maybe I could have rented a bicycle anyway we're getting closer to the border now so we've just been brought as far as we can go and I think the rest of it we've got to do it on foot down here and it should take us down to a little viewpoint of the river so we've just walked past the police station and this over here it says it's the boundary limits but the path keeps going and as you can see there's lots of little eateries and you'll see all the, the, the languages in Thai and Burmese but so far no problems and there's a few guest houses around so as you can see they're drying out fish there in the sunshine <laughs> hello and this coming up in front of us this must be the Thai Myanmar friendship bridge which was built in around 1997 and this takes you over the Moi River and we must be getting closer because that looks like the the peak just just down there got a little policeman there lots of barbed wire uh, the westernmost point in Thailand didn't realize that little market here have a look around in here where is it I wonder if it's down here the Moi River. Can't see it yet. So I think there's a viewpoint down here somewhere. Oops. Watch out for these motorbikes, please. Hello. Hello. Oh. <laughs> what are you smoking? No, I, I don't smoke. 
Viagra. Viagra? What do I need Viagra for? I'm a young man. Yeah, oh. man, no. man, man, man. Man? What? Perico. What is this? Perico. Huh? Oh, Viagra. Yes. Viagra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Mandalay, Mandalay. Okay. What? What whiskey. is Mand? Oh, whiskey. Whiskey. whiskey from yes. from Myanmar. Myanmar. Myanmar oh, yes. from Myanmar. Yeah. Myanmar. Yeah. yeah. I, d I don't drink. <laughs> yeah. Pass, yeah. pass. I'm okay. I'm okay. Down, down here is viewpoint. Yes. I can see the river. Yes. Down here. Yes. No problem at all. No, no, no. I'm okay. That's good. Is it this? This is from uh, Myanmar. Yes, yes. No Myanmar. Myanmar. Uh, Indonesia. Yeah. In Indonesia, yeah. Uh, Kretek, Kretek. Yes. Okay, okay. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm okay, I'm okay, thanks. Thank you. So, yeah, so there are a few guys here. Hello. Just set up them. Oh. They've come right... Oh! I caught on the barbed wire. These guys have come Hello, right up to the barbed wire on the border Hello. and are selling their goods. I'm okay, thanks. <laughs> Crazy. The stalls set up all the way along, just right up on the barbed wire. Wild. And I'm guessing here yeah, there's a few smuggled goods. Let's have a little chat with these guys. Hello? <laughs> do, do, do you speak English? No. No English? Is this here? This is the border. This, this side, this side is Burma. Yeah. This is Burma. This is Thailand. Okay, okay. Yeah. Go to Burma. Huh? Go to Burma. Uh, no, no visa. Visa, no Burma. No. I had a passport to that. No, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, okay. I can see the river. The river is here, yeah? <laughs> this is uh, Maui. Maui River. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can see ah, that down here. Okay, down here. Okay. I go down here. So I can just see over the river bank over there, but I can't see the water. So we'll have a little look down here. So these guys have got stalls all the way up to the end there. And there's a copper down there checking on them. Must be a big demand for Viagra and whiskey at this end of town. So I'm just going down here. I've come to the end and they just told me it's okay to go down here. And hopefully this will take us to the Moe River. Pretty skanky but on that side over there as you can see this is Myanmar and when you come over here anybody can come across can't they oh there's a river over there that must be it that must be the Moe River wow Okay, and I can see now, I can see across to the other side, the uh, the Burmese wall. So I guess maybe this bit here is a bit like no man's land. But yeah, there loads of plastic boxes up in the tree. Yeah, this is definitely the Burmese side. Wow, well, pretty wild. But when I came here a few years ago, someone did actually take me across and into a village on the other side, which no doubt you could do it today. But I don't really want to take that risk, just in case I have any problems when I come back in. Left all my belongings in the hotel back in town. A couple of kids down here. So it looks pretty dried up this river. But you can see over there, people washing in it. A few boats down there. And I can hear the crickets. So these guys down here are definitely from Burma. And I can recognise them so far away. Because they got like this white powder pasted onto their faces. Uh, which protects them. It's like a natural, natural suntan cream. 
we'll see this little guy. Hello. <laughs> they look cute. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 So you can see he's got like all this uh, paste on their face. It protects them from the sunshine. <laughs> I think I'll. Uh, I brought some biscuits. I think I'll share some biscuits with them. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Let me see what I've got. I've got some biscuits here. Biscuits. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Finished. With this little girl some as well. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Finished. Finished. Good. <laughs> okay. Okay. What what is your name? Name name. My Gary Gary. What? Kerdali. <laughs> okay okay. Yeah. <laughs> and here's another one. They're all coming from the village. Yeah. Your friend. Yeah. Lucky I brought them biscuits. <laughs> Might have got mugged. Biscuits finished. Okay. Anyway, gonna head back. I've got another place of interest to go and check out. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Enjoy your biscuits. So this looks like the unofficial crossing point where they just jump over. There's a, like a path that comes all the way up here and they just hop over into Thailand, come and do a bit of shopping. And they got something here, what you don't usually see in Thailand, betel nut or pan. And they'll mix it up. It's got like a lime paste and you chew it. It's like a mild stimulant. Corona beer, Budweiser, Ho Garden, nice beer. I've just come down the back side of this market and there's definitely some more interesting artifacts around this side. More like antiques. Check that guy out. Looks like a sailor and an old safe. Wow, check him out. London. Wow. Antique Street, and I'm looking for a toilet. Well, wow, old gramophone, check that out. Wow, well, telephone, don't see too many of them anymore. <laughs> yeah. So, the motorbike here has just dropped me off, <laughs> just dropped me off at the main entrance to the uh. To the place where I'm going. I don't know. <laughs> going in. Sorry. Uh, up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. He seemed a bit confused. Don't know if he was going to tell me to stop filming. But we're on a bit of an elevation here. 
and uh, maybe it's still quite far. I thought that was the entrance to come in anyway. Budder up there and I think yeah there should be some like archaeological ruins up here. So they got some fancy statues in the grounds and they got a tiger over there so you gotta be careful and this looks like a lavatory so <laughs> gonna go and see if I can do a Jimmy Riddle but this will take us right up onto the edge of the uh, the cliffside hopefully there might be a bit of a view here more than the lavatory we hope Oops. yeah so you can see back down where we've come from oh and there's a looks like a a military check post here wow and a bunker Wow. Wild. Why not? <laughs> ah. This looks like a military bunker, doesn't it? So I can just start to see the temple over here. Wat Kok Chang Puk. You can see the sign just above the elephant's head there. The temple's over there. And a monk over there. It's like a hall for sitting down in and there. Looks very chilled out. And a viewpoint over here. Quite a nice little chilled out sight. Oh, and across there, you can see Burma. They're a bit wobbly, but I, I brought a couple of these, oops, I brought a couple of these little jellied coconut things with me. So I'm gonna try one. Mm, I can smell the coconut on it now. But really, I needed a spoon, I think. Wow. Mmm. Very nice. Very soft, gooey texture to it, but it's very nice, very sticky. Mmm. Got some big bells here. That looks like the clanger. Nice. Don't want to get into trouble though, so I don't want to make it too loud. Dropped his clanger down there. Better go and pick it up. Yeah, but that's the Buddha, Buddhist statue there behind me. <laughs> He's shouting at me, the monk. Oops. Someone shouted at me, so obviously not allowed to do that. But yeah, that's the Buddha. Big Buddhist statue. Standing Buddha. But don't clang those bells. So that looks like it tells some kind of story up there. And I was just speaking to the monk back over there because he was shouting hello to me. He wasn't shouting at me, but he said there's five of them. There's five monks living up here. So this kind teacher, he's taken me on the back of his bike down to the, the taxi rank. 
So we're back at the bus station and on the little road that will take us into Maysot and my guest house is just down here and it's 11.30, it's coming up to midday and it's pretty, pretty scorching at the moment so I'm going to take a rest for the afternoon in my nice cool ceramic room and then we'll head out in the evening but anyway, nice little place got a, an excellent chilled out vibe here and some nice people so thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one